Welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to show you my 2.0 version of my two liter bottle rocket. Check this out. All I'm using in this investigation is Suave Max Hold Aerosol Hairspray, a two liter bottle. This is Strato water screw on fins and a piezo igniter. So the first step is to remove the lid and to drill a small hole that will fit the piezo igniter loosely so it doesn't build up too much pressure and crack the lid. So it should have a little bit of space around the edges. The next step is to assemble your strato fins and this is really easy. They just slide in like this and then you're gonna screw this onto your bottle. nice and tight so it looks like that and now you're ready to take the cap and screw that over the end of the fin attachment nice and tight so your whole setup looks like this very easy to build and you're ready to test it so the fuel that we're using inside of our rocket is the ethanol that's found in aerosol hairspray Hairspray is over 50% denatured ethanol. So when I spray a little bit of hairspray into the bottle, those ethanol vapors, when I push the piezoelectric switch, they're going to combust. And that thermal expansion inside the bottle is going to force the bottle in the opposite direction. Check it out. Here's some preliminary attempts that I made without the fins. Now let's try it with the fins on, but in the gymnasium. Well, that didn't really spiral at all. I think the weight of the fins really limited how far it could travel. Let's try it without the fins. Well, I think the fins are really cool, but they just add too much weight. Hairspray is mostly ethanol, and when ethanol combusts, it mixes with oxygen in a combustion reaction. So if you look at your reactant, C2H5OH, that's ethanol, and O2 is oxygen. When those reactants come together in a combustion reaction, they create CO2, that's carbon dioxide, and water vapor, H2O. I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this presentation, be sure to remember to like and subscribe.